All right guys, so in today's episode, we're gonna be going through the BMW E28 we picked up a couple of weeks ago and giving you the lowdown on what our future plans are with the car. So, as you can see, the vehicle itself is a 1986 BMW 525i. Now, if you were following last week, you'll see we fit the new OZ Futuras to the vehicle, 17 inch with a Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. We want to go for a bit of a chunky look with this and a bit more purposeful look. So it's static, it's just on coilovers, no air ride on this one like a lot of the other cars sitting around the academy, mostly bagged. But this one we're keeping it a bit more simple, just going with a coilover setup. The rear was particularly difficult to get right, if we bring you down here and have a look. We managed to camber up the rear in the end and quite a difficult task but we've managed to do it. There's still a little bit more fettling to do on the wheels and the fitment which I'm going to do on the front later on in this video. But for now I'm going to give you a walk around the vehicle and show you the kind of condition it's in and then talk about what else we're going to do. One mod that you will notice that we've not showed you yet is the rear louver. Now we we're on the fence whether to do this or not but I'm really happy we've done it now. I think it sort of sets off the back end especially with this rubber trim on the spoiler. If we take a closer look in at that that's one of the things that we're going to have to sort out and also this spot in bubbling in the paint we're going to have to do something with that. I don't think detailing is going to cut that so that's probably going to come off and get painted before you see the car detailed. Going around the back, last video we posted, you know we went to Artec, we had the exhaust system done. That's all settled in lovely now, no knocks, no bangs, no rattles, nice tight fit up to the body as well. Much better sound from that straight six. If we show you the actual vehicle itself now, I have a feeling this car was loved by someone. Whoever owned it before really liked this car because not only is it in really good shape, there's not many dings, scratches or anything like that on the vehicle. Obviously there's the surface scratches that we will detail out, but there's no big damage. But one of the things that kind of gives it away that this was a loved vehicle is all the paperwork we got with it. Now, as you can see, service book all stamped up there all the way through its life. But it was this that kind of give it away that somebody had a real soft spot for this vehicle. This folder has got photos of the vehicle, different photos of stages of work somebody's done on the car. Um, it, yes, yeah, it's, it's been really well loved. You know, you've got invoices and receipts for all sorts with it, which is nice. As you can see over here, we've got the stereo surround, a bit of an old stereo, which we're going to get rid of that, but we are going to put something back in. It's even got the original toolkit, all present and complete. So a bit of a rare find I think this car. Now, we were never really looking to buy a BMW E28. Um, we like cool cars, we like retro cars, and we like stancing them. I've had a soft spot for BMWs for a long time. I've had a few, um, as you'll know, we used to have the blue M3 and we had some other cars on the fleet that were BMWs, but we've never had a retro BMW. And I really wanted one. Being rear wheel drive is a nice thing, now this vehicle is actually an auto. Now, some people don't like the old autos. I actually quite like it. Driving it around, it's been all right. Obviously, it's not like having a nice new DSG box, but it works quite well. It switches gears, it's not too lazy. It's just a sit back and cruise sort of car. The whole plan with this is to get it ready for a trip to Worthsea in May and the next stage that we're going to do with it we'll be getting a load of detailers in jumping on the car and attacking this paintwork so we're going to take a closer look at that and then you'll see what we're dealing with let's shed a little light on the situation and see what we're dealing with if we position the light here we're going to be able to see that reflecting off the rear quarter now you can probably already see just how bad this paintwork is. Now, it's not the end of the world, this will clean up. There's quite a lot of DA marks in it here, actually, if I'm looking at it. We've not gone around this with a paint depth gauge yet to see if it's had paint. I would say by down here, it looks like it probably has. It looks like it might be a blowing line here as well. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that and see what we're dealing with. Now, visually inspecting the paintwork, there's nothing that I really worry too much about. I don't think it's had any big repairs. You know, we've not gone that close to it. Sometimes when you're actually detailing a car and you get in close, you notice some bits that maybe you didn't pick up just washing it or going around it when you look to buy it. 
that doesn't bother me too much on older cars. I can forgive them having the odd sort of knock or scrape fixed in their time. As I say, it's a 1986 car. I wouldn't expect it never to have had some kind of small damage. As long as it's not been bent up in a real big accident, then I'm not too worried. You can just see when I move the lights across how sort of patchy and distorted the finish is. Lots of watermarks and etching that we're going to have to fix. Like I say, we're going to have to paint this. There's another area around the front. If I bring you down here. This is probably the worst part on the car actually, this repair here. It's not good. It's sort of an old smart repair of sorts. You can see the tape line there. We've got some surface rust coming through it that someone's crudely touched up. It does run a little bit just into the edge of the arch here. Now like I say, that is the worst part of this car. It doesn't really get any worse than that. I think we can keep that localised down here. We'll get a specialist in to fix that for us. Probably blend it up here somewhere or maybe even paint this whole area in. I don't know. I'll kind of be led by them on that and see what they recommend. But looking around the rest of the car, it's in good order. Mitch, do you want to open the bonnet for us? We'll have a look. Mitchell's gone around the wrong side of the car. You yeah, know, can't find it. <laughs> it's over it. I'll do it myself. It's fine. It's oh yeah. It's even got a little arrow. See that arrow oh, there? That. <laughs> and there it is. Now it's pretty clean in here. It's not terrible. You know, there's grease and grime here and there. We have gone ahead and polished these up when we had them off. Cleaned up the caps when we were over at Merc Tech. Obviously, the BC struts showing through, so there's some new parts there. This sound deadening, though, that is letting it down a bit. But our friends at BMW have managed to get us a whole set to replace all of these that are all perished. We've also got these. We've got this rear panel here. And we've got this rubber as well on its way. It's like a foam more than a rubber. And that's starting to perish. But we're going to be able to clean all these up. I'm going to have fun getting some uh, grease remover on that for sure. I think I'm going to claim that. That's my job. I want that bit. <laughs> And then in the scuttle and areas like that. Now we might have to sat in black, clean up and sat in black some of the nuts and bolts and things just to clean it up under here. We're not going to try and build a concourse car. We don't want to take the engine apart massively and start having bits shot blasted or solar blasted or whatever else. We don't want to go down that route. We just want a clean, honest, usable, drivable, cool car. So that's what we're going to be going with under there. We will get these wheels off. Now, in a minute, I'm going to take these front wheels off and fit those 5mm spacers so we can take it out on the road without the rubbing and the scraping. We have settled down the shocks a little bit. We've been driving it as much as possible and these settled in quite well now. So I'm hoping that's as far as they're going to go. We've got some touch up on all that to sort out bits like this. We're going to touch those in, flatten polish those hopefully lose those they're down nice and low any any sort of damage like that on this vehicle is nice and low so we can get away with doing it that way which is nice saves repainting parts of the vehicle keeps it more original which is nice the interior is in lovely order actually if we move these there's my spacers I need to fit later on as you can see that's passenger seat but even driver's seat Back seats look like they've never been used. Oh, have we gone too low? <laughs> never too low, mate. Oh, 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 look oh, at that, oh, that armour. Let's see what some of this. Well, that didn't quite go to plan. <laughs> is this why you bag all the other cars? Is it? This is why I bagged it. <laughs> Love static lows. So much fun. <sighs> Take number three. <laughs> Gained ourselves a little bit of clearance. 
using the old race ramp, stole them from where the Porsche is parked. Let's see. Ah, oh, look at that. Ooh, it's tight. But uh, that is one nice thing about this. You don't have to take it up very far. <laughs> you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to go very far with your jack, because um, it's not a lot of travelling these. <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to be called for an F1 team in time two. Not like that, we're not. Um, well, the Archies were in good condition. She is. Wow. This thing's super solid. You get up in there, it's just unreal. I can't wait to get into that with the steam. That mm. is. So yeah, we fitted the new brakes, the calipers, discs, obviously new shocks as well, the new struts. It looks super fresh under here, but I'm really excited to get a bit of degreaser under there and steam that out. That's going to be one of the first jobs when we come to this big detail, actually. Ideal. That might have rubbed at some point. Did feel it when I was driving back. Didn't feel quite that bad. Metal filings there if you want them. Rare, OEM. <laughs> Sorry, <again. laughs> Let's get them talked up and test it out on the road. Ready? Oh. It's quite well, a lot of cars. And a shawl. I'll sit in this and warm it up and you can move all the other cars, what'd you say? Oh, the brace car needs, I need help. Oh, I've sat down now. Oh. I've sat down, sorry. Well, I'll ask someone upstairs. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Burn out on the way out, we'll flick it back there. <laughs> right, let's see if our scraping problems. Oof. That was the rug. That was the rug, to be fair, that's all right, that's not a scrape. It stopped. Mm. Let's 
Let's hope the wheels don't fall off. Oh, lovely. I'm not sure what they do. What? Yeah. Like these? these? Yeah. Hey, that's the onboard computer. On it's high tech. You can see what? Oh, it's 11.5. Average speed. Definitely haven't done 25.4. <laughs> not sure it's accurate. Um, range. Com oh, oh. 18.6 miles to the gallon. And it sounds that good. <laughs> It's smiles per gallon I'm worried about. <laughs> well, visibility is quite good. That's some 80s perfection right there. I don't know why they don't make them anymore. It's such a good idea in the UK. Keeps all the sun out. Some. Keeps the... <laughs> some. This is where it will scrape if it's going to happen. Just warming up the tyres. What a difference 5 mil makes, eh? No more scraping, not milling down my own wheel on my own strut, which is uh, kind of the aim. <laughs> <laughs> this car drives unreal for its age and what it is like the auto gearbox i know some people are like oh it's an auto i actually quite like it we've got so many old manual cars and must be my age coming through i just don't want to be doing this all the time especially on a long trip going somewhere like Worthersea. i saw it as an auto and it actually appealed to me more because i just thought i can just hop in this put it in drive sit back relax and drive it along Considering it's this low on coilovers, the ride's nice. You probably don't look it from, you can see how that camera's being held by Mitchell. <laughs> but it is actually quite smooth. For a slammed car, don't get me wrong, it's not like wafting along in a Range Rover or a Rolls Royce, but that's not what this car's about. It's about looking cool. And I think it looks pretty cool. All we need to do now is detail it. Stick with us for the next episode, where our detailers and five of our ADN guys jump on it and try and turn back the hands of time on this car. Hopefully, it's gonna look stunning when it's done. Thanks for following, and if you don't mind subscribing, we'd appreciate it.